Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new video. Uh, behind us is the new Škoda Pavia. In this one, we're gonna take a tour of new uh, changes on the new model. And we're on a Zurich in, or Zurich in Swiss, Switzerland. So uh, if you wanna see more car content, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Uh, without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Hey everyone, here's the first look on the channel of the new Škoda Fabia. This is the new generation, new design. And I gotta say, a very nice uh, refresh. Uh, I like the design language, especially uh, the interior details as well. We're gonna check out. So let's come a little bit closer. We have the new Škoda Crystal lights, uh, daytime running lights turn into turn signals. Have a lens here, projectors, fog lights on the bottom. And uh, we have a wider grill, like on the Octavia, air to intake on the bottom and the top, at least the bottom part. We have the radar on the top, fog lights, and you can see there's air tunneling on the sides as well. Uh, gorgeous looking, this is the launch edition, two-tone. Gotta say, I like this metallic color. Uh, first edition. And a uh, light sensor, rain sensor, lane camera there. New side mirrors, turn signals there. Kind of different design. Um, side profile of the car, looking gorgeous. New alloys, closed design. And looking at the rear, also very sharp looking like the rest of the fleet now. Now let's check the cargo space. If I back up, you can see the small city hatch, uh, very practical, opens fairly tall, uh, nice and wide. Uh, a lot of room here. You can put this down like that. And then you have like five, almost nine fingers of height. Um, and you can push this like that. You can push that, you can see that, so it stops. And over here you have a spare tire, still very, very practical. Uh, you have a little area over here, that the points there. Over here, over here. Put something here, like a first aid, fire extinguisher, uh, grocery hooks, little light on the right, emergency triangle, and, okay, grocery hooks there. Seats knocked down 60 40. You can put an umbrella here. Of course, you can remove this if you want. Manual close, back in camera, 180 degrees fisheye lens, little washer as well, and white LED license plates. Uh, looking gorgeous, if I may add. At least this version, there is a kind of social version, maybe in a separate video, we'll see. And kind of discreet spoiler. Uh, no antenna because we have a glass roof. Uh, let's check the rear. So fairly nice opening uh, doors. Check the seals, kind of changed, but it's all good. Hard plastics on the rear. Uh, everything's hard plastic on the rear. Um, knock down the seats. And you can see that. So we have some sort of cloth in this model. Um, let's jump inside. Now, I think I was sitting in the front before, so uh, enough knee room, kind of tight, but uh, it's okay if a shorter person was sitting on the front, there will be more space on the rear. A little bit, maybe rattling sound when I close it up. Oh yeah, so that's not good, but everything else looks good. AC and two USB Cs for fast charging. A uh, tall transmission tunnel. This is kind of stiff in this, so I wouldn't put a uh, better third person. Nice, uh, long and big windows. Good view in the back. Beautiful glass sunroof. Uh, LED lights over there. And for a two meter tall person, you know the sunroof I'm touching, but it's manageable, it's okay. For average person, there should be plenty of headspace. Let's check the front. It is late, but we were on the auto show. Uh, hooks on the B-pillar, adjust the seat belt height and hooks over here as well, all four sides have handles and nice uh, white LEDs. Good closing sound. This is interesting, this is black but uh, not metallic black. Um, hard plastic, this is soft. Uh, can lock the rear, all power windows automatic, you can fold and heat the mirrors. This is kind of nice detail. 
can just close it up here. Kind of hard plastics on the bottom. Manual seats up and down, lumbar tilt, push to slide back and forward. Uh, for the amplifier, but I didn't see one on the rear. Air pressures in the fuel cap, uh, manual seat controls. You can put here some cards or similar. And let's hop inside. Good closing sound on the front. Switching to our wide lens and look at this gorgeous new cockpit. It is uh, kind of shared with the SAT new Ibiza. So we have this air vents, kind of slightly different design. Nice, a big screen on the top, air vents, and uh, kind of simple AC controls and a new lever zooming in. I guess I didn't properly close the rear trunk. Um, well, this looks nice some cloth here hard plastic i'm not a huge fan of this piano black there hard plastic so a lot of saving but there's an entry model it looks nice you have a nice big screen here uh, this is rubber textile nice big hazard button physical controls for ac and a few buttons air care nice rubber mat on the bottom where you can charge your phone there's actually a little holder up there and that's really what this what this is for to be honest that's a pen holder i guess and you can put your smartphone here new dsg lever kind of bigger but okay driving modes uh out off lock and lock from the inside parking uh self, -par self parking parking sensors so manual handbrake a little area here maybe for the key a little cloth here and yeah, this is nice and soft 12 volt outlet in here kind of opens weird but uh, this is all plastic actually there's a carpet on the bottom it's just dark here you can't see it this doesn't extend so it doesn't have levels seats uh, we've seen this in the octavia if i'm not mistaken quite comfy all the textile this textile here some nice details and ambient light only here slowly opening but kind of plasticky card holder coin perhaps and uh, nothing else, no SD cards, no AC uh, or anything. Let's see if we can turn on the infotainment and wrap it up. So, uh, because we don't have the key over here. Unfortunately, uh, this is kind of loading. So let's go on the up. You can see very good overview on the rear, airbag information, white LED lights, that's nice. And emergency calls there. Again, beautiful panel roof. Uh, you can open this up. Nice big privacy mirror. No light, unfortunately. Card holder. This doesn't extend, unfortunately. Put it back. Uh, for a two meter tall person, plenty of headspace despite the glass roof. And let's see the infotainment. It's kind of laggy, obviously. So, as I've mentioned, uh, it's exactly the same as on the rest of the Gamma or the Fleet. Uh, they didn't bother to change a lot so you have the new fabia logo there but um, otherwise um not much the virtual cockpit again you need a key for that uh and vehicle status i really like the design of the new fabia what do you think tell me in the comments uh because this is loading and we're short with time i'm just gonna jump out and show you the front hood or the front bonnet because this is still loading for some reason, but uh, you don't have the key, so it wouldn't be too much use of that. So let's check the front, open it up. So it's a small engine, uh, probably a petrol, and you have the new smart uh, cap for the washer fluid, and you have to use a little a leg. So let's just drop it, closes perfectly, and tell me what you think. I really like the new Fabia and the design. I gotta say I like this alloy. So these are two uh, 115, 45R17, 17 inch alloys. Kind of close design for better aerodynamics, uh, better fuel consumption. First edition. So of course you still have that uh, parking car holder, smart features and simply clever details. Uh, so this is the 110 horsepower uh, three cylinder TSI or benzene petrol and we're in uh, Zurich, um, Swiss, in Switzerland, so this is in Deutsch, 
and I think these are cereal and these are some options here um, so there you go uh, maybe separate video basic version so kind of didn't close this up properly and there we go so tell me in the comments how do you like the new Fabia so if I'm gonna have a special preview at night sort of uh, a little bit in dark you can see the contours gorgeous looking Fabia LED taillights interior on the rear see also the lights from the glass roof there and then the gorgeous front jump inside just a quick look with the wetlands with the interior some ambient lights there very minimalist but also very nice looking so smash up the thumbs up for night preview and of course here are the night hazards daytime run running lights turn into turn signals on the front and on the rear we have these small turn signals as well and thank you for watching uh, be a cool person smash the like button leave your comments below how do you like the new fabia if you want to see more there's going to be plenty of videos so subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified when i upload new videos i'm going to see you in the next one stay safe bye